Uf. It's because of Hojo this place is in ruins. No, I can't blame him for our actions. I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... We had no choice. Things would have turned out worse if we hadn't stepped in. True. Not comforting, but true. Yay! Hate to say it, but that girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. You tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters if you ask me. <laughs> you? Trying to cheer me up? Now I've seen everything. <laughs> Couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh, helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Hasn't been that long. It was a figure of speech. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. Man, the, the selections are so obscure that it's hard to tell which one I'm supposed to select. It's not entirely obvious. We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ethalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through... I hate him. Sometimes... I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me. They're just thoughts. Let them be dark and ugly. You're not. You think so? What I'm trying to say is worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Good. Not you. That was to her. My future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Just you wait. Johnny's Hotel, right? Hey, you ready to leave? What a beautiful sunset.
Well, guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah, no fun ain't the word I'd use. So, back to the hotel? Johnny's famous sea smell here. I don't know. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach gave me the lowdown. On the hotel and Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? You borrowed a lot of money from him, right? Will you be able to pay it back? So... The girls told Capono, keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinra will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked. He caved. I am foot loose and dead free, baby. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Johnny, the local hero. Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be Seven Star Resort Hotel. Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans! Ow! 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 Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, you okay there? Great. Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? Gotta follow some rogues. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. On the road again. Uh, hello? Aren't you all forgetting about someone? No. And... Please stop. Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter. Others, an unstoppable assassin. And the rest, a benevolent and beautiful ninja. But... Who am I truly? Who ties what rose? The one and only Yuffie! Cool. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, hold it, you spiky haired jerk face! Where do you think you're going? I challenge you to a duel! If oh. I win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow fluke your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, wait. Seriously? I mean, uh, we don't actually have to fight. That is, unless you really want to. Oh, abort, abort! Tactical retreat! <sighs> the hell is her deal? Where do we? Hey, where do you think you're going? <sighs> think this through. Are you absolutely 100% certain you don't want me around to save your butts? <sighs> you can come with. I knew you'd say that. Well, seeing as you're so desperate, I guess I'll oblige you. 
Welcome to the team, Yuffie. <laughs> Did you at least bring your own materia? You try anything funny, anything. I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wutai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. But I hear ya. Ooh. <laughs> You won't regret this, or my name isn't Yuffie Kisaragi! <laughs> okay, let's see over here, and... <laughs> I see you eyeing my materia. Side quest. What's up, bro? Forget something? Or did you just miss the unbeatable ambiance of my seaside paradise? Either way, I'm glad you're here, because I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt-free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is... You short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny B, then who, pray tell, am I? So yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just gonna confuse them. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot. Oh. How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with? <laughs> Think you're surprised? Imagine how I felt. Good day, sir. I saw your help wanted ad. Oh, that's... Say, you look awfully familiar. Too familiar. You look exactly like me. N no, please, stay back. Don't come any closer. Ah! Ah! Okay, that last part was just a joke, but... This wouldn't have anything to do with me. Using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones. Would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself. My other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro. I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. Army full of Johnnies. <laughs> I probably have to do this side quest in order to activate the, uh, in order to activate the fast travel for this region. Man, you can't put like a barrier to a hotel right here. Too. Yeah. That reminds me. What materia do you come with? I 
don't know what any of this does, so I'll probably shouldn't sell it. So, what'd you think of our selection? Check out the bad luck. with every little thing you need for your travel. I am afraid to ask how many calories. Tour goes to Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Beat the heat with this magical treat. Materia pops have arrived. That segue. Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead. This gorgeous beach is the crown jewel of Costa del Sol's many tourist attractions. We have services that cater to all kinds. Do I have to be in beach gear? You're the one who got into it with that Shinra scientist. Oh wow, it is you! I'm Fran. And I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So... That's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date, for inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? We knew you would. And so, we've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy at Run Wild. Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. Do I get to choose who I take this out This is one of the stranger day? jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We can just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Maybe you want to head down to the like beach now? a walk? So, you and me got a rooftops, lift. perhaps? Sure. Ah, memories. Do I have to pick Era? Or can I take Tifa? if I choose both. <laughs> Look who it is. So, are you ready to aim and fire? Do well and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. I have this little bag though. 18,000? Okay. Nice 
one. Sweet. You did it. Yep. Sweet. Nice one. Don't shoot willy nilly here. You did it. I get that cactar. Wait for the gold. Great job. Wow. You did it. Great job. Oh, oh. someone's confident. I think I should have this so long I don't feel any more Oh, It. Wow, look at that score. Those are some pro numbers. But what did the lady think? Oh, got me right through the heart, the cat. <laughs> you know, the secret is to aim for the head, not the heart. She never once took her eyes off her man. And the way she stared at him... The score didn't matter. Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. I'll head back, now that the creative juices are flowing again. You two, however, still have a date to finish. Go find Naomi at Run Wild. Bangle. And a new materia slot. on the agenda for us. One of our More cheap ideas. date ideas? Oh, lighten up. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. We're trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Hey, I'm well, on an over to I am treating this as a date. I wish you wouldn't. Why? 
because Got a furry no friend who needs to Believe burn me. off some energy? I know. Come to right. run Someone took their sweet time, I see. Better hurry or the game will start without you. What game? Run Wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie wooties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? Oh, this bracelet. Right three. So I have to All right. beat them in three Wish minutes? Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Not people? People are technically animals, too. Right? So it's cool. Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. Although I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Red's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R, give me an E, give me a D! Red ball. <laughs> oh, look at that bounce. Black ball, black pocket. Oops. Sometimes we gotta lob it in. If it's only for three balls, it was so much easier than last game. Right? Oh, it's in the wall. They built the wall. Thirty. I could have got that if I didn't choke that. You're like a red bolt shooting across that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only served to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! 
I've got to get this idea down on paper. I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday. Yorda's at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo. Barking's fine, but no I wonder what sort of design the girls are gonna... ...come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you want to see? Me? Yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I, I prefer function over form. So, durable. Maybe made with non-absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion. In case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> Where's my next drop-off source? Cloud the helpless romantic. Okie dokie then. Actually, I think I go underneath the bridge. For next time, will ya? Last guy wanted pepperoni. Do you know what time that tour guide is going to work? The best way to make tracks is on Choco Back. Choco Back. There you are. Okay, I've got a great activity for you. Before that, though, I need to add your information to the system. Here, take this. It'll let you rent a chocobo whenever. That's Kaima. Take good care of her. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. Oh. But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chilling back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. Oh, we hit the open world. I don't know about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. Oh. You meant the shells, right? Right. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous! <laughs> Old Moogle medals. If I got
Where are my Moogle medals? one finish off this seashell quest
analyzing the LifeSpring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. This one appears to be within a derelict factory. Abandoned after the Republic's fall, the facility is in a rather poor state. Exploring old ruins, isn't it exciting? So exciting, Chadley. Fiends roam this place. Rare Sholopod variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. The Sholopod. Dig. Missed. Should be able to find some good shells around here. But first, we clean up the trash. <laughs> Frog me? Are you kidding me? Search. Sounds good. Back on the birds we go.
teeny tiny. You know, a lot of troopers take half a shell with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one. Something to say. Oh. That took a turn. Whoa! I don't think I've ever seen a shell this big before. Hmm. If these things are all this size, I bet the suckers who live in them would make for good eating. Wonder how they taste. <laughs> we could ask a local, but you don't strike me as the type to care all that much. I don't. The food's food. Uh-oh. Don't you know what happens to people who say they don't care what their food tastes like? They spontaneously combust. You're screwing with me, right? I guess we'll see, won't we? Nice, a conch. Decent size one, too. Whew. I think that should just about do it. Okay, ready to go? Are you sure? Really? Leaving the decision to me? What about you, Cloud? Are you sure? This is the part where you're supposed to blurt out. I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This dates DOA otherwise. Okay. Time to be I'm not trying to be in I'm sorry. Get him! Fast travel over here, finish this mission. Talk to a date lady. Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? right? Dang, that thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shelves? Or... Ha 
I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck! I know what to make! But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center! See you there! Next time we need a chocobo? Fashion show, fashion show. I say we write double. The best way to make dresses on chocobo. Which bag. would make it that chocobo much easier to take in all the scenery. I'm still steering. Oh, fine. If you've got to be the man up front. Save your raking feet and ride a wheelie instead. What the? Must be a ladder here. This gorgeous beach is the crown jewel. Dancy. Want to shoot your shot? This swimsuit's got perfect aim. <laughs> Love might be a game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Want to land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> My friends, who among you doesn't ache for that Perfect swimsuit physique! You wanna get ripped? You want a hot fog? Then you better train with the best of the best! So come, come join, join our, our gym! gym. And it it muscle maximize! I'm so glad you came! So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo after all. I absolutely loved it. But the two of us didn't do anything inspo worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted. Happy couples get us inspired and fired up. Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, Enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Cloud? Oh, hey! You trade the city for the beach, too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat. And commissioning this year's new singlets from these talented young women. <laughs> oh, right. That reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skills. Okay. I forgot that I had those books. Apparently, I actually have to. Uh... I unlocked another side quest.
Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead. Grab a materia pop and give your taste buds a magical. All I wanted was. <gasps> Alexander, I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. What new discoveries you make in yep. your travels? The, passengers and reservations are close to the best way to make tracks is on Choco Bag. All right, Johnny. Good color, dude. Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one knows, knows me better than myself. Uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it, we think. You'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be. Having our bro help out's like having a hundred of us. Even better. Throw a hundred Johnnies in a fight and we'd still get our asses kicked. We'd be so... Scared we'd run before the fight began. So, so you, you find, find anything, anything, bro? They ought to be all around the zip lines, right where we dropped them. You'd be doing us a solid by tracking him down. Come on, don't leave us hanging. We need your help. By the zip lines? That is a terrible idea. Uh, I think you meant to say terrific idea. Come on, Cloud. Just imagine how much fun it could be. Hmm. Huh. Wow. What did I tell ya? More Yuffies, more fun. This looks like a job for the Yuffie squad. How about we take a look over there? I think we'd have better luck over there. If it's not Materia, I'm not interested. <laughs> Uh, Cloud? Are you even listening to us? See? Like I said, fun! No, not fun.
jellyfish. <laughs> 